What's up gamers? In this video I will do a super quick report, so it will be like a quick crash course in Typest. So a report needs a title page, so we can do that. And you might want the title be centered, so by adding a horizontal alignment within a vertical alignment we get a perfectly centered alignment. Now this text is kinda small, so let's make it bigger, maybe like this. And actually I want it bold too, so we can do that with asterisks. It's similar to Markdown. And now my name here, but just like Markdown, doing a new line doesn't actually start a new paragraph. You have to actually have space between. Or if you actually want a new line within the same paragraph, you can force it with a backslash like this. Now actually I only want the title to be big, so let's just use the text function on the title. But now the name is way too small. So we could do it like this. But we could also... So this title will actually be 3 times 2, so 6 times bigger than the normal font. Now let's start the report. Oh wait, we want to start a new page first. So we can do a page break. And there we go. Now maybe you have an introduction. And you have a couple of headings. We can fill that using the lorem function. Boom. Now actually, let's go wild here. Awesome. Now it's kind of hard to navigate this page because there's so much text, so we need a table of contents. We can do that with an outline. Maybe we want the outline on its own page, so we can do a page break after it too. And actually I want these headings to have numbers, so we can set the numbering of headings. And you can just give it a, a string and it will interpolate and understand what you mean. Maybe this text is a bit meaty, so we actually need some figures to space this out. And we can do that with a figure command. And what do we want here? Maybe some image. And here we have a figure. We can add a caption to it. Nice. Now we want to reference this figure. So to do that we need to add a label to this figure. Which you do by opening angle braces and typing your label here. And then to reference this, you use the at symbol, cat. Now this labeling is a very versatile thing. You can label your headings and reference them later too. And it will use the heading number we set up before. And in the same way, we might want some math. So we can do that here by opening up a math block. And we might want to reference that equation too. We do that the same way, we add a label. Now actually we get an error and it's telling us oh we actually need to enable equation numbering to get this work to work. So we do that. And actually for equations I would like them to have numberings with parentheses. So we do that here. Yep, that looks good. Now I think a problem with this paper is that the results are pulled out of thin air. I think we need some references to some solid literature. So we can actually just add a bibliotic bib file. And then we create a bibliography. And the references are just available here in the same way. The reference style will default to IEEE. But there are a lot of, but there are a lot of different options. Some more features is that you can do code blocks, just like in Markdown. And if you want to make this uh, like official code listing, we would wrap it in a figure. Maybe explain something. And maybe add a label. Oh, actually we want the background for the code listing. So how do we do that? Well, we can globally change the style of code listings by doing a show command which actually changes how it will be rendered. So here I'm doing a bit of a grey background, maybe we want a bit of padding so maybe we do an inset. And maybe a little bit curved borders. So now we can just send this paper in and publish it. Awesome. 